Seeing Through Glass, and welcome to the latest episode of the My Next Daily series. This could in fact be the final test drive of the My Next Daily series. You join me in the brand new 2017 Audi SQ5. Now, if you watched the very first episode of this series, you will know that this car wasn't on the list of cars I'd lined up to include in the My Next Daily series, but things don't always go to plan. And a few weeks ago, when I went to test drive the Audi TTRS, I stumbled across one of these in the back parking lot of the Audi dealership and on looks alone, fell in love. So, very kindly, Audi UK have lent me one for a week to see if I could get Sybil, Sybil, this is, no, it's not your moment. Sit, sit down. Sybil, I told you I'm filming. As you can see, Tony from Gravelwood Car Sales has been replaced by Sybil. This is my mum's dog. I am dog sitting for the weekend. And unfortunately, Sybil doesn't quite understand YouTube. Sybil, no. Can you go back to your seat, please? Can you go back to your seat? Please, I'm gonna push you. I'm gonna push you. Yeah, uh, uh, uh. Thank you. Stay there. I won't be long, I promise. So, yes, I'm looking after Sybil. Um, but, you know, let's talk about the fact that SUVs are, okay, dog friendly. Sybil, seriously. Sy Sybil, not safe. Not safe. Sybil, definitely not safe. Not part of the agreement. What are you doing? What are you. You're going to sit there? Is that, how, is that where you want to. No. Sorry, I need to pull over. <laughs> Sorry about this, guys. Didn't really think it through when I thought it would be a good moment to film while Sybil was in the car. Sybil. Sybil. C can I? Not now. It's not a good moment. No. I'm trying to film this car. Do you like it? If you like it, then you need to behave because I need to tell everyone else how good it is. Can you please go back? Come on. The most disobedient dog in the world. Please, Sybil. <coughs> Careful of the carbon fiber. Always got to be careful with carbon fibre. Um, and it's amazing how much carbon fibre is in this car. Thank you. Please, not long. I promise. Stay. Um, so, yes, SUVs. This is the second SUV that I have included in the My Next Daily series, and that is because I'm really intrigued by the prospect of owning a 4x4 SUV. I never know what, what, which, which one, what do you call them? Bigger cars? <laughs> um, I've always liked them, and let's face it, all over the world, they are incredibly popular. Every manufacturer everywhere now is making them, and as you can see, they're all over the place. So I'm like, well, maybe I should give it a go. It would be a completely different ownership experience to the cars that I've had so far. And whilst the Velar was great and definitely an early contender, I think quickly I kind of disregarded it because it feels like a sort of step above. I'm not sure I'm ready for that kind of luxury, especially not for my first SUV especially price-wise, it's, it's a bit of a stretch. This car, whilst brand new and whilst spec'd up, could be sort of 60 grand plus, you can find versions around 50, 55. And I think from that point of view, it's pretty good value because not only are you getting all the carbon fiber that I mentioned, you're getting all the Audiness, all the sort of, you know, everything in here is perfect. Not only is it all sort of, you know, really nice to touch and feel, it looks great, it's minimalistic. I've got the virtual cockpit, which is still a horrible name, I think, for the digital display where my sort of speedo and stuff is. But it's just, it's user friendly, and that I love. But on top of that, because this is the SQ5, we do get performance. You might be able to hear, Sybil's groaning. You might be able to hear there's a bit of a rumble going on because despite the fact, please, just let me finish despite the fact that this car has some absolutely hideous fake exhaust pipes, it does sound really good. I don't know why they put the fake exhaust pipes on. I'm assuming because maybe in the Q5 range there were diesels that didn't have pipes or... Anyway, if I just flick it across into manual for two seconds, wait for the traffic to disappear, you need to hear this thing because it... You won't believe it. You honestly won't believe it. It is a V6 turbo, but are we ready? A little bit of a window down. And ahoy! started this car up in the Audi dealership I was like hello what 
what a noise. And whilst I'm not that obsessed with going quick in SUVs, I'm more about the sort of comfort and usability of them, it's quite nice to know that I have got that because for a daily, the reason the 718 Cayman S was such a sort of like wow moment was that that is a true full on sports car. And to have that as a daily would just be unbelievable. This, obviously a lot more comfortable, a lot more, I guess, luxurious, maybe. Um, but you do still get the sportiness. How's the armrest, Sybil? Is that good? Do you want to check out the back? Can you do a, can you do a review of the back? Go on. Go on then. Go on, back again. Go check it out the back. No? Okay. Sorry. It's boring for you, isn't it? I think all Sybil wants to do is go to the park. Now the reason I'm driving this in and around London and not going and thrashing it around some country roads is that predominantly I use my cars in central London. This is where I live. And so the daily, the Abarth for example, I used 95% of the time on the London streets. And so I kind of wanted to suss out whether having an SUV would be too big for me. I want a car that I can park easily, that I can fit down narrow streets, that I can kind of, you know, go unnoticed in. And you may laugh, but the Cayman's a great size. This, the reason I like it is it's a small SUV. It's not a huge lumping thing like Lego, Cayenne, big, Evoque, interesting. I mean, look at them all. I've got a Freelander, I've got a Macan Turbo. Now, Macan is an interesting one because the obvious rival to this, I'd say, is the Macan GTS. And whilst that's a little bit more dated, it needs probably a, a facelift, it's definitely more of a driver's car. But the reason that I'm kind of looking at this rather than the Macan is that as I say, I'm not all about performance when it comes to an SUV. I like that in here, I've got this massive sunroof. I've got all of these like, you know, beautiful Audi displays. I've got the carbon fiber. I've just, I really like it. I know I'm trying to play it cool and play subdued and that's because I'm trying to power through the point so that Sybil doesn't pee on the seat. But I, it's, it's really, really nice. It's a very, very different thing. And I, I feel like I, it's a bit of a risk for me to buy an SUV. Like it's, it would be a whole new thing. Try not to die here. But I'm gonna be safe in Audi's hands, aren't I? Like how wrong can you go with an Audi? It's gonna be usable all the time. I can fit people in the back. I've never really had a car, at least in recent years, that I can actually put other people in. I've had two seaters for five years or so now. So I totally get the appeal of it. All the tech, all the kit. I mean, this is fully loaded, this car, as you can imagine, because it's from Audi HQ and it's just wonderful. Really freaking wonderful. And I wish I could talk more about the performance. It is there. I have actually driven this sort of, you know, in and outside of London and it kind of lurches up, but it's bloody quick, this car. It is bloody freaking quick. But it's also just great for pooting around and taking the dog to the park. So I think maybe that's what I should do right now. Four, as I say, Sybil pees, or even throws up. You're looking a bit sick, Sybil. What, we're doing too many accelerations for you? I apologize. But yeah, a big, big contender. I don't foresee any other test drives coming because as I mentioned the other day in my video with Lenny, I kind of need to get on and get something now. The Ferrari has arrived. The Abarth is not quite as useful as it used to be. So no more messing around. For me, the two contenders are the 718 Cayman S and this. So I'd be very intrigued to hear what you will say. Please bear in mind, as I say, you know, there are two very different cars, very different cars, so they can do things very differently. But anyway, comment below, comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you are a fan of the Audi SQ5, because I am still using the thumbs up, the like ratios for consideration. At the minute, the, the 718 Cayman S is, oh, okay, yeah, Sybil's really fed up now. It's winning. Anyway, right, are you gonna be sick? Is that what's gonna happen? Are you about to throw up? Are you gonna pee? No? Okay, we're gonna go to the park. We're gonna go to the park. Okay. <clears throat> Sybil, this is, I've told you, I've told you this is dangerous. Thanks for watching, guys. Me and Sybil are off to the park. Catch up with you soon.